Hello guys, today we are going mushroom hunting. The mushroom we are looking for is called the pine mushroom, also known as saffron milk cap. It's from the Lactarius family. All you need is a box, a knife, some wipes to clean your hand, and have fun! Well, of course, first you need to find a pine forest. Now, before you go in, find a stick suitable for walking. It'll help you improve your stamina when going down the slopey hill. It'll also help you flip over stuff to find mushrooms. Now, always remember, if in doubt, throw it out. Now, be careful where you're stepping in these forests because you might step on these inedible, call it earth stars. These are most often found under hardwood trees and makes good decorations when dried. Next up, we have the blue pixie village. These are too small to be eaten and some of these species can make you hallucinate when eaten. Be careful! Next up, we have the rosy bonnet. These are highly poisonous, so watch out. They like to grow in leaf litter under deciduous trees. Wow, it's the fly agaric, also known as toadstool. We all commonly know these are poisonous and can make you hallucinate. Just don't eat them. Next up, we have the grisette. Although these are not poisonous, they look very similar to death caps. So let's not try our luck, please. Next up, we have the wrinkle club. Although these are edible, they're not incredible and you need to eat a lot to be satisfied. Like the Wrinkle Club, Crested Coral is also edible, but it's not incredible, so let's not pick them. Wow, Fairy Ink Cap. These look like fairies dancing on moss. They are small, but can swarm in big masses. Same, they are edible, but too small to be eaten. Next up, we have the Fragrant Funnel. These rather rare mushrooms smell like antsy, but are poisonous, so let's not eat them. Next up, we have the Chicken Run Funnel. These are edible, but there are lots of similar lookalikes that are very poisonous, so let's not take the risk. Wow, the giant ruby bolette. These like to grow under deciduous trees, but their favorite trees to grow under are oak. They have a soapy taste when eaten. Next up is the shaggy parasol. Other website states this is very yummy, but it's highly poisonous, so stay out of reach from children. If you find the golden hair ink cap, state yourself very lucky. Their lifespan is only two to three hours and they're also too small to be eaten. The lakeward bracket. These are used medicinally in Asia and are called lingzhi in Taiwanese. When they are mature, they taste very bitter. Wow, the trichloma pardonum. Not many people get to eat it because it's so rare. It has a cucumber taste when eaten. Aw, a flat oysterling! Although they look and sound very yummy, some species from this family is highly poisonous. Don't try your luck, please. Now wrapping up with the mild milk cap. It is edible, but it's not highly regarded from its taste. You can distinguish this between the saffron milk cap by looking at saffron's colors. It will have lightly dented spots on the base of its stem. Now, finally, this is what we've all been waiting for. The saffron milk cap. It will have orange milk coming out of every part of its, its fruiting body and will stain green when it comes in contact with water. Its stem is very hollow, so be careful. And remember to leave the roots in the soil because next year it will grow back another mushroom in the same place you left it. As you can see earlier, the red dots, that's how you distinguish them from the mild milk cap. Well, that's all folks to this mushroom field guide video. I hope you enjoy your mushroom journey and hope you've learned something from this video. I'm Wei, the commentator, and I'll see you in the next video. And always remember, if you see some foreign mushrooms in your bucket and you don't know what they are, if in doubt, throw it out. Bye.